Hello students, welcome to CMS online classes and this chapter is for class 8 chapter number 13 and the top name of the topic is sound. In our previous classes we talked about sound, okay, its production, how it is produced in metals or how it is produced in non-living components, then production of sound from human beings sound from human beings that means humans how we produce sound okay so in previous class we talked that whatever sound is produced we can hear okay or other people can hear so production we finished that means first now to hear a sound we need some transportation as for example when you come to school from your home how you come you come through the roads okay so it's not that uh, when you are home uh, in a minute in a with a magic with a miracle you will reach school in a quick moment no you need some medium and the medium can be you can walk okay you can take vehicles okay so vehicle act as a medium or your legs act as a medium to reach from home to school similarly a sound that is produced and to reach where it must reach that needs a medium to propagate and that medium is mostly air is mostly air it's not that uh, it doesn't travel in uh, liquid or it doesn't travel in solid it travels in solid and liquid also but mostly sound travels in a uh, air as for example uh, you and your friends are uh, in a distance of 10 meters okay and if you speak the friends can hear how that is due to the air and that act as a medium of a sound to reach them understood okay so i have a interesting fact about uh, from this content okay air have sorry earth have atmosphere earth have atmosphere okay it means atmosphere in a sort earth have atmosphere and in atmosphere we have various types of gases and that constitute air okay and through air we can hear but in space do we have air we don't have air in space, no air in space or in moon also or in moon also we don't have air. So what will happen if you speak in air or in space, uh, sorry uh, in a space or in a moon, what will happen? If you and your friends will talk to each other, what will happen? Just guess. Okay. So, in that case, a sound cannot be heard. You shout, you scream in moon. Okay. Uh, call your friends. Hi, ah, hello, this, that. He or she is not going to hear that sound. Because there is no medium. There is no ear that acts as a medium. Okay. So, this is an interesting fact regarding this topic okay okay so uh, we will move further okay so now we will go further and study that what what is a medium for sound to travel that means medium of sound so in our so previously 
I talked about air. One of the most important air. Okay, air act as a medium. Then water is also act as a medium. We will discuss this later. Then water means liquid and last one solid. In solid thing also sound travels. Okay. So we talked about uh, sound travel in air. Another there is a vacuum written in the textbook. What do you mean a vacuum? Vacuum means empty spaces. Okay. So I'll give you example in this also. That is also air, but I'll give you example this. That sound travel in a vacuum. Okay. Uh, in our childhood, uh, we must have uh, brushed a bulb, fused bulb, brushed a fused bulb. Some may have, some may not, but uh, I have many a times, okay. So, when fused bulb is thrown to a hard substance, actually fused bulb means the bulb that is fused and inside the bulb, Inside that bulb, there is a vacuum. There is no air. There is no air. It is a vacuum. Vacuum means where there is no air. But it is compact. Okay. So what happens when you throw that bulb in a hard substance, it produces sound. It produces sound. And how this sound is produced? There is a question. How this sound is produced? That sound is produced because when the bulb is broken, a brushed, the air enters the bulb and that makes a sound. And that makes a sound. Okay. So, it was only for examples. Now, let's uh, move to the other part that is sound travels through water. Okay. There is an experiment. That take a bucket or a bottle, fill it with clean water, take a small bill in one hand. Okay. Shake that bill or this bill inside the water to produce sound. Uh, if a bell is shaken, then it will produce sound. Okay. Make sure that the bell does not touch the body of the bucket or the tub. It must be in water. So what you will observe in that? Okay, what you will observe? And uh, you are not placing some uh, solid substance there okay but there is only a liquid place your gently on the water surface be careful the water should not enter in your ear okay it must be at a certain distance above the water level so you will hear this sound of a bell so the water this water act as a this water act as a medium to produce sound of a bell to this ball okay so it is a good example or it, you can say activity if we do it it will be an activity but uh, in while explanation i mostly refer to as an example okay so this was an example of sound traveling through water now sound can also travel in solid as i already told and in my first part, in my first beginning of the class, in part 1, I told you that if you tap a table, sound can be heard. Okay, That means it is in air, but uh, if this is a table, if this is a table, okay, and uh, one child is here, and another child is here okay and if this child places his head here like this okay like this places his head here and this child or this person just tap his hand here he will receive a sound and that sound is traveled through this boat okay that is another example okay uh, that example was easier so i gave it 
and uh, we have another example here also take a meter long scale a long metal rod and hold it one into your ear ask your friend to gently scratch or tap at the other end of this scale that means to tap or to scratch or to make some vibration there what a, another person or the first one what he will observe he will hear a sound through this metal okay there is no medium air is also there but air doesn't act as medium in this case okay so this was another example of sound traveling in a solid okay here is the experiment or here is the activity that i was talking about it was in a next page okay so this is a the thing okay uh this child is placing his head or his ear on one end of a table and another one is trying to tap it okay so if he taps this table this boy will hear the sound and that sound produced is move through this wooden slab a wooden table okay so this is a good example to show that sound travels in a solid state okay uh we can also take another example okay we find that sound can travel through wood matter in fact sound can travel through any solid we can perform interesting activity to show that sound can also travel to strings actually string is also a, string is also a solid okay it's not liquid it's not gas as we know okay so sound can travel in a hard solid also or in a thin solid also okay uh, we have uh, many of have done this experiment or uh, activity okay so here a cup of a cup like funnel uh you can say uh, it can be a board also okay cardboard or whatsoever when you roll it and put a string at one end attach those string at one end which is closed and this must be closed okay uh, it's here but uh, also the upper part like this okay okay so this portion must be open this portion must be open nothing should be attached here. and this must be closed okay and you only have to place a string here at one end and another one here okay like this and we have to put ears here and here we have to speak and this both end at this both point we will put a string okay we will put a string and if we speak here like what this boy is speaking and this boy will hear and the medium is not air the medium will be the solid particles okay so we can you can experiment at your home also okay it will just require you to make this uh what you can say you can say instrument also or you can say this uh, boxes also okay so in this in this topic we have learned that sound is produced by vibration and vibration can be in solid in liquid and in gas okay and that act as a medium to travel a sound so till now we come to know that how sound is produced and its medium now we will learn how we can hear sound okay there must be something to receive a sound otherwise uh, how we can hear the sound okay so we are taking example of human beings that means humans okay that means humans so we hear sound with our ears as we all know we have ears and that is an organ we can say organ also okay uh, and it is located at the head okay
okay both side of the head on the left and right and in structure it has some structures also okay uh, i'll just show you structure in a few minutes okay the shape of the outer part of the uh, ear is like a funnel that means the outer part okay the outer part which we can see okay which we can see touch whatsoever when sound enters it it travels down the canal at the end of which there is a thin stretch membrane it is called eardrum and eardrum help us to perform all the activities of hearing okay now we will observe it with a diagram with a diagram okay as we as it was said that we have a external ear that means this is a funnel like funnel shape like structure and it is called external ear of pinna in scientific term or in a biological term it is called pinna okay it is also called external ear it helps us to receive a sound when sound is received okay it enters to a ear canal and it reaches a ear drum okay it is a membrane like structure and in ear drum it's a there is a stretch rubber sheet that means these things okay these things these things is rubber stretch okay like this it is like this and this is not a solid part it is a like a have you seen gills gills it's like a gills okay it's a stretch rubber part and when sound is produced when it enters through the ear canal it goes to ear drum first of all and ear drum ear drum receive this vibrations ear drum receive this vibration and send it to inner ears send it to inner ears okay there we have some other structure of ears that means uh, we have a stirrup okay that is the smallest bone in the human body and is located in ears only after that after that uh, here is a magnified form okay let's come to here after the sound is received through the ear drum it uh, enters in the inner ear then it moves towards the cochlei okay it is a cochlei which and the name is not mentioned here here the sound is frequented or just uh, adjusted what whatsoever okay after that from there it enters it goes to the goes to the auditory nerves here we have auditory nerves okay auditory nerves and nerves that help us to hear sound even we have taste nerves also okay that means uh, whatever we taste from the tongue okay that taste is uh, tasted by the taste bud first of all then it moves to nerves and uh, if it is sweet we feel sweet if it is sour we feel sour and if it is bitter we feel bitter in the same way after moving through the cochlei these auditory nerves okay receive this sound and send it to the brain and when it enters the brain the signal that enters the brain again through various nerves it again decides what to say what not to say we have a complex uh, uh, network of uh, things in our body okay you only have to understand that when sound enters to ear it is received by auditory nerves and sent to the brain and then we respond then we respond to such activities okay we respond to such activities so this was all about our receiving this sound this was all about our sound receptant or receiving sorry sound receive 
okay and uh, we also learned about a basic study about basic things about the structure of ear okay so this was all about production of sound of, of course then its medium that means sound needs some medium to travel then sound receiving of sound receiving of sound and mostly we discussed production of sound uh, with human beings and uh, receiving also with human beings this was only for examples and we have uh, the same process in animals other animals and birds also okay so this was all about part 2 of this chapter in our next class we will talk about uh, the other parts of the chapter that means uh, the quality of sound the pitchness of a sound okay so this was all about today thank you